So, what's gonna happen? <laughs> so you're gonna get 10 rounds, and you're gonna get 10 rounds, all right? Have you ever played chess with the oh. timer? No. Okay, so the way that this works <laughs> is, when it is your turn, when it is your move to move your chess piece, right? Your clock is rolling. Once you move, your clock stops. Then it would be your turn, does that make sense? So your coaches, they will be allowed to help you get set up with the tripod. You will be engaging the target from the tripod. You could be in any position other than the prone. So seated, kneeling, or standing, okay? You may also use bags to fill gaps and build your position. Your coach may help you figure out how to get set up. Once you have found your good position, you will have to stand up and we will disorient your rifle so it is not aiming at the target. Then, Eyeball. your coach will not help you at all. He will be standing behind you and he will have the timer. So you guys will run up, get behind your rifle, get aimed in on target, and when you're ready, you'll say, I am ready. Your coach will start your time. You'll shoot. Your time will stop. The next person's time will start. You're on the clock until you shoot. Then your time starts, then yours automatically starts. Does that make sense? Yeah. The minute that your opponent stops firing, your time is beginning. Got it? You'll have four minutes total for 10 rounds for maximum hits at a mile to see who the champion will be. Are you ready? I'm ready. Jesse, are you ready? ready. Coaches? Yep. Yep. Go. Stay back. Who's ready? Who's ready? I'm ready. Bree, time starts. Jesse, you're on the clock. Bree, you were low. Wind call was good, but you were low. Copy that. That's the target. I'm on scope, Jesse. You're on the clock. Jesse, you were just underneath the target. Just underneath the target. You need 0.2 elevation. 0.2 elevation. Bree, I have nothing. No impact. Jesse, fire when ready.
Jesse, you're on the clock. Jesse, I think you're still low. Gotta get on target. Gotta get on target. Find the tree! Find the tree! Why are you on 35 power? Find the tree! Lock your tripod down! Stay right there. You don't need any more. I need you to hold your 0.5 over. 1.2 right. Bree, you're low. Jesse, I don't know where it's going. Jesse, hold right 1.5. Hold right 1.5. Hold over 0.5. Find the tree. Stay there. You don't need that much. Hold over 0.5. Right. 1.2. I got no call for either one of you. Okay. Increase your wind correction. It's probably going into the tree on the left. Jesse, hold right. 1.6. Bree, you are low, 0.5 and off the right side. Okay, copy that. Jesse, hold right, 0.5. Hold right, 0.5. I lost it. Oh, fuck. Stay there, stop. You don't need that much magnification. I know, I can't see it, Tyler. I get that black vision. Back your head up. And that is time, Jesse. Bolt up, bolt up. No. Nothing. No call. That's all right. I'll take my other one though. <laughs> You did good. <laughs> good job to you too, sweetheart. Hey, you did good too, okay? You did awesome. Everybody did amazing. Are you kidding me? Well, you're the queen. But I have a, I have a great group of women, so I'm, I'm the queen and we're all queens. Well, you got to tell us all what to do now. Uh, let's go have lunch. Sounds good to me. <laughs> great shooting, Bree. Thank you. <laughs> The queen! Thank you! I'm proud of you. Thank you! Thank you, thank you! Thank you! Alright, here with Bree Michael Warner. <laughs> the official queen of the mile. <laughs> Apparently, that's what I'm being I'm being told, yeah. That's <laughs> uh, so my coach was amazing and he actually grabbed the uh, the casing from the round that got me that first hit of the mile uh, and I say first because I ended up getting to shoot it again but um, I'm kind of shocked to be honest not that I don't like think that I have ability or I can't work under pressure but I, I truly saw how well all the women were shooting and I even had my own like 
presumptions of who I thought would actually win. And to be quite frank, it, it wasn't me. Like, and not that, and again, not that I'm thinking poorly of myself. I just was, I was seeing Johnny like just kind of be amazing on every challenge. And she had all these opportunities. And, you know, I was just, I was so impressed with how everyone was doing that at no point did I think that like, oh, I've got this in the bag. Like there was none of that. When I was growing up, when I was in college, I had a professor that really did something, I, what I think is really poor. And he had told me when I was starting as an actor that I would always be like the, um, the supporting role. I could never be the lead role. You know, he just, he sized me up just visually. And for a long time that stuck in my head. For a long time I like psyched myself out that I would always be like second choice, second place, second whatever. It was never the, the person. Uh, and I think today, you know, 43, I'm gonna be 44 in about a week. Uh, I finally had this moment where, you know what? I can be the leading role. It's not about being second place. Uh, and I was able to win that tiebreaker against Jesse and win the Queen of the Mile. You weren't technically in the running, and then suddenly you were, and then you end up in a shoot off. Because right yeah. when you had a person that had 100% of the challenges, they were making assumptions. Right. Right? So that flip flops. Tell me about what was going through your mind. Um, it definitely gets in your head when you uh, when you see someone succeed so well in the challenges. So Johnny, she did phenomenal, man. And um, I think it got in all of our heads. We all put our money on Johnny. You know, we're like, man, she's just killing all these challenges. Um, I know when I missed my one challenge, it kind of like got to me. And I'm like, man, up oh, there it goes. You know, you just kind of feel like you kind of blew your opportunity. Um, so that uh, just kind of in that atmosphere was a little different and, and a little challenging, you know, because you kind of put yourself down. Um, but then uh, when we went back out there, um, going to the thousand, the last challenge we did was really crazy because when I took my target and I, I hit my first target on the left, um, I hit it, but then, um, or I missed it, then I hit it and then I missed it again. And I was like, oh man. And then I was going to make some more adjustments as Tyler was telling me. And then I hear this 10 second, 10 seconds. I was like, oh man. And then I was like, move it, bang. And it hits. And I was just blown away by that. Of course, I was surprised I even really hit the mile target. I was just like in awe, um, you know. I, I honestly, in my head, was like, this has been a great experience, you know, and I'm very fortunate for doing this and, and learning what I have, but I really didn't think I would hit that target, so I was very excited for that. You know, it's funny, it just, I felt at a sense of peace. I was like super tickled and like excited that I, I hit it the first time, and I think my first thought was like, awesome, I get to sign the book. I <laughs> get that like mission accomplished. And then when it came time to the tiebreaker, I just, I was very relaxed, probably the most I've been relaxed all weekend. Um, and I have my little morale patch that's like embrace the suck. And I think I finally embraced that truly. Like I finally just settled in. And, and the funny thing is, is that the tiebreaker was actually from a tripod position, which like we talked about, wasn't exactly my favorite, but I was like, you know what? I'm not going to get caught up in it. I'm just going to relax, enjoy it, have fun and see what happens. So coming into this, you had challenges beforehand. Yes. We had we had communicated the night before mm -hmm. we were supposed to leave that you'd had an unfortunate yeah. happening in your family and you wanted to do this in honor of your father-in-law. Mm -hmm. uh, you won. I did. I mean, <laughs> you know, it's funny. It's, it, if he's watching, <laughs> I'm so excited that I was able to do that because I, I kind of, you know, I decided that I was going to go through with this trip. I wasn't going to back out. A, I, I was committed to, you know, to you and what you were doing. I was committed to all the other girls that were going to participate. I was committed to the sponsors who so generously gave everything for us. And I was like, I don't, I need to do this. I need to, to do this in his honor. Like I said, he was a super pro Second Amendment supporter. And, it, you know, he would have, he would have gotten a kick out of just the idea that I was coming here to do this. And the fact that I actually ended up winning, like, I think he would have been so proud. And I'm so happy that I made this decision, you know, for myself to say, you know what, Brie, you got to push through this. Like everything in your life is all about obstacles and pushing through those obstacles and coming out the other side and becoming a better person, becoming more in tune with who you are and really pushing yourself and not allowing life to sort of get you down. So I'm really happy that I'm here. <laughs> I think my greatest accomplishment was finding confidence in myself again, you know, for all the things that I'm involved with and I do and I teach and law enforcement, all this stuff, you know, there is that, that little girl in me, I think that probably does second guess herself sometimes. It always feels a little like, you know, well, maybe I'll get it, but maybe I won't. And, and I think what I realized this weekend was that I just needed to have more faith in myself and believe 
and that's that was the goal and at the end of the day I, I achieved that goal. I want to encourage more women to, to go outside of that comfort zone you know if if I always say go in the direction that you fear the most that's usually when you're going to get the biggest reward and so for the people that are out there watching I really want them to you know if you have an opportunity to come to a facility like this or even in your own hometown if, if there's a range that you can get to and get some training just getting behind the gun challenging yourself discovering how good you probably are to me that's like Take, take the risk, why not? It's an amazing sport that I'm actually like super interested now and I want to maybe look at more and, and maybe even from a competitive point of view. Uh, and I think there's a lot to be had there. I think there's a lot of life lessons that you could discover in yourself. I mean, I never thought I would ever be a shooter and you know, here we are. Um, and I really want to encourage other people to just push yourself a little bit, go outside that comfort zone. There you have it, Bree Michael Warner. Thank you. Thank you much. <laughs> You're excited. <laughs>